<laughs> how about how about when I come home? Don't try to treat me like a hub a hubby, like the normal run of the mill just got home from work hubby uh, to take the garbage out. How about you get your fucking ass out there and haul the pails to the curb? I, I just did a radio show. I can't believe you're the same guy. Oh it's amazing God, to me. I wish I was this guy that, that back then. It's amazing to me. Oh, do I, I wish I was this guy I'm, back I'm then? I'm thinking about doing the, the whole plunge, like the, the, yeah, you know, my woman. But I, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you. Other than finances and this and that, look, I put her through enough where I think if she, she deserves. Want, if she wanted to fuck me, she yeah, could yeah. never really get back at me for the mental <laughs> abuse. Uh, yeah. But it might, it, this may seem so petty, but you know what I don't want to do? Mm. I don't, and it's getting there because we've been together so long. Yeah. I don't ever want to um, have a discussion about everything. I don't want to have a, a meeting uh. about anything I want to do. Right, like anything right. I say, I'm, I want to go here. I don't want to. You don't want to have to. I don't want to have to always come up discuss to, to a committee. I had a friend come up and he wanted to bring his girl and and and, and crash at the house. Yeah, yeah. And my girl had something to say, like no, she, no. whatever. And she had to say was nah. it was inconsequential. It was just the fact she I got to you know I have to go I have to hear that you might not be in, into it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like I, that whole we're a we're a partner uh -huh. and we have to. Everything has to be discussed. No, like I, 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 I Why bought. Why should it Eight hundred dollars shoes. Uh -huh. I, I just want to buy them. I don't want to ever think I have to discuss. Uh, is that a wise yeah. thing to do? Is never want to buy. Never want to justify that you decide you just want eight hundred dollars uh, shoes. One I day. think the partnership is what bothers me. That idea of of yeah, you're you're now a business partner and. Uh, uh, a partner in property and, and a partner and, and, and in decisions. Especially, and I don't know where you are with your woman now, but especially in the beginning, my thing is there's a time where in their heads they feel like they they shouldn't say something. Like so, when you first meet them, they got nothing to say. Uh -huh. But it's almost like they're trying to get promoted or upgraded to this place where they think they have an entitlement to actually say things in your life. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to discuss. Anything that I want to do, I, no, I just want to do what I want to do. Here, here's here's the, the 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 Anthony of of now. I don't discuss anything. I go, hey, guess what? So and so, so and so, so and so is coming over and they're going in the pool, and they're hanging out today. Hey, I just got a call. This one's coming over. Oh. Just gonna drink a few beers. It's not can this per and it used to be. Uh, is it all right with you if this person comes over? And there are certain circumstances where I'm not just fucking blind to everything. If if the girl's sick or something, I'm not going to be inviting a party over the house. I do have some compassion. But if we're just hanging around and and, and the, the evening pretty much looks like we're going to be hanging out watching TV or, or something, and I get a call that, that people want to come over and hang out, I'm not going to say, hey, do you mind if people come over? And that isn't out of being rude. It's out of... I want that. I want people to come over. I want to hang out, and that's what's going to happen. It's no disrespect. It's me. It's my fucking house, and this is what's going on. 